Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky. So I have a video here that I've been working on for quite a while. Um, and I guess I have some things to explain about the background footage. What you're going to be seeing in the background is just me getting drops from necks. Um, so I did do, I ended up doing 100 necks kills. It took quite a while. Um, most of it was in trio. I would say probably like 90 out of the 100 next kills were in trio, um, and like five of them were four man because we did a four man and we lost like five kills and then we left, and like five of them were duo because I did like two duo trips and neither of them went very well. But uh, anyway, I'm not the best at next, I don't claim to be, so I'm not very good at like duoing. You know, I can do duo if you're with a really good tank, you can stay like a full overload flask. Um, and if you're not, you can stay like two or three kills if you're as good as ne at Nex as I am when you are dueling. But anyway, um, yeah, you're just going to see in the background a whole bunch of kills. I did not record all 100 kills. Um, I'll say I recorded, I only am showing ones where I got the drop because it's just kind of dumb recording something and there's nothing on the ground because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense so everything you're seeing in the background is ones where i got the drop and i recorded probably about half the kills where i got the drop um so there's a lot of kills that i just did not record at all um and that's because it was lagging we were on like world and camtasia is a very laggy recording software and i just couldn't record necks and also kill very effectively because it was really slowing me down but, um, you know, when we weren't on Liger Worlds, I did record the drops. So, anyway, uh, that's how I just decided to do things. I must say we got a lot of brews and restores. Um, a little over a third of the drops I got from Nex were brews and restores, or right about a third. Um, 34 out of the 100 kills we got brews and restores, so that's kind of annoying. I hate getting that drop because it's like you just feel like you wasted five minutes because you ended up killing Nex and you got nothing for it. Um, I guess it helps prolong your trip a little bit longer since you can use the bruising restores to, you know, possibly squeeze out another kill in the trip, but at the same time, it's just very frustrating. But anyway, um, we did get a whole bunch of random stuff. I did get one drop, like actual next item, uh, recorded. Three splits in total. I'll tell you what those are later when I show the loot. Um, but only one of the splits went to me. The other two splits went to other people, so I don't have them. Um, but the one drop that actually went to me, I do have recorded, and you'll see that. The, it'll be the very last of all these kills. Um, and we got a lot of Pure Essence, too, which is really annoying, because Pure Essence is only worth 20 GP each now. That seems kind of crazy, because uh, Pure Essence used to be like over 100, not that long ago. Maybe a little over a year ago, Pure Essence was like 100 each, or that might be a little generous. Maybe two years ago, Pure Essence was about 100 each. Um, and now it's just 20 GP each because no one uses it. If you actually ever want to try out runecrafting, it is pretty darn good money. Like making nature runes these days, you do make a lot of money just because the pure essence is so cheap and the nature runes or, you know, whatever you decide to make are worth quite a bit more. Um, but anyway, regardless, we're here to talk about next. Uh, I also got a lot of onyx bolt drops. I must admit, um, just an absolute ton of onyx bolts. I'm not sure why. The onyx bolts were the second most common item we got other than, uh, well, I don't count bruisery stores as a drop, but after pure essence, uh, the onyx bolts were the second most common drop. So I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, I'm not arguing with it because every time you get an onyx bolts drop, that's 1.1 um, mil split because uh, there's three people and you split among three people. It's worth, it's 3.3 mil worth of onyx bolts. So among three people, it's 1.1 mil. Um, so there's, I'm putting the onyx bolts ones at the end here too because they're worth something. So uh, I only recorded two Onyx Bolt drops, but all together we got, I believe, 11, 12 Onyx Bolt drops uh, in total in all the next kills, so there's a couple of them. I also got a fair amount of blues from killing next, so blue charms are always nice. I'm trying to save up on those. Um, if there's a you know double experience weekend or something like that, I will be using my charms. But anyway, um, here's the one drop that went to me, and that was a Pernix Cal, so, you know, I wasn't incredibly happy with that because that was after like a 50 kill dry streak and then we get a pernix cal you know which is worth 17 mil so not an awful lot but anyway let's it's time to price check the loot and see what we got all right and here i am once again i'm torn into pieces no i'm just kidding but i'm back with the uh the drops from the 100 next kills i almost said 1000 next kills i'm like 
Yeah, if this was the loot for 1,000 next kills, that would be pretty crappy. But anyway, uh, this is everything I got. So um, 17 mil in splits because uh, the other two splits that I neglected to mention while the actual kills were playing is um, I got a Virtus Boot split, and that was with the four man, um, which sucked because that was less than 3 mil uh, with that split. So that was kind of terrible because Virtus Boots are just incredibly cheap. One of the worst items you can get. And then I got a Pernix body split, uh, three man. So that was a 9.2 mil split. And then that Pernix cow that you guys saw, that was a 5.8 mil split. So only 17 mil from 100 next kills. I don't know about you guys, but that just feels really, really, really bad. Um, and I've heard that the next drop rate is 1 in 30. Um, my friends that do next a lot get drop rates of more around 1 in 20. So three splits and uh, 100 kills. That's uh, not very good, no matter what way you spin it. But anyway, um, that green dragon hide is worth a lot. I really like getting that one. Um, the onyx bolts is the best drop, obviously, but the green dragon hide is the second best one. So all this stuff kind of adds up a little bit, I guess. And obviously, the reason why these are in such arbitrary numbers, like 67 torstals, that's because we're splitting everything three ways. Um, so it doesn't end up to be nice, well-rounded numbers. So anyway, um, the total loot is 41 mil. You might think, wow, that's a lot of money, but you got to remember this took a really long time to do. Um, it took many, many hours, probably at least 20 plus hours. So it was not very good money per hour, if you look at it that way. If I had spent the the time that I spent at Nex at Glacier's, I would have made way more money. Um, but anyway, I'm not arguing because Nex is actually really fun and I love doing it. I just I hope I have more luck there in the future. I don't know. Um, it would be nice to get some splits that were, you know, more than a 10 mil split. But I'm not arguing too much. Um, one thing I got to say is it, it is really difficult to find people to next with. So if you're ever online and you want to next, um, just be someone that has decent gear and some experience. You don't have to be a pro. I'll go with someone that, you know, doesn't have absolute max gear and max stats. But if you do have some experience with Nex and you're decent at it, um, you know, you can join my friend's chat and tell me that you would like to Nex, and I might Nex with you um, if I'm in the mood and don't have a team already. But anyway, um, yeah, I got a fair amount of blues as well, so that's kind of nice. But that's about all from this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it informative, and I hope this will inspire you to Nex with me. But yeah, farewell.